Starting in goal, Drew McIntyre for the Toronto Marlies. Jacob Markstrom the other way for the San Antonio Rampage. Spencer Abbott picks it up again. Hangs on patiently, moves it to McKay. Back up for Brennan. Back over for Abbott, dips in, takes the shot, and a great opportunity, but Markstrom got the blocker on it. Back out front it comes, Abbott tries to break it loose to D'Amigo. Back come the Marlies, three on two, leaving it back for Abbott. Here's the opportunity, backhander scores, Jerry D'Amigo! And the Marlies go up one, nothing. And when D'Amigo gets it back, he uses his speed to get by the man who's the lone guy back there. And he goes from his forehand, pulls it to the backhand, and beats Markstrom. And we've got a one nothing lead in favor of Toronto Marlies. Feeding it out front, scores! And right away, one nothing is Drew Shore with his first goal of the year. Evens it up for the San Antonio Rampage. Well, Sam Carrick loses his footing right outside his own blue line and he goes down and the San Antonio Rampage pick up the loose puck and some quick back and forth plays. Number 24, Quinton Howden with the pass right into the wheelhouse and Drew Short, the quick shot, and it's off the stick and on and past Drew McIntyre. And for Drew Shore, his first goal of the season. Into the Toronto zone, Shore going after it. McIntyre plays it off the glass. And then Shore is just popped as he was trying to get back up. Slow to it, but now has an eye on it. Biggs comes back across the line, leading Ryan, takes the shot, rebound! And Granberg just couldn't get it there quick enough. Yeah. Relieve the pressure. Back up to the line, Abbott, cross ice, McKay. Goes cross back to Abbott. He leaves it back to T.J. Brennan. The wrist shot, sent it just a shade wide, picked up by Cozen, back to McKay. he's got help. Moves it back to Brennan, another one, scores! Out front, Jerry D'Amigo! With his second goal of the game. On the power play. Greg McKay gives it to T.J. Brennan, and Brennan with that wrist shot, and it's touched in the high slot area by Jerry D'Amigo, and he chips it past Markstrom. And at the end of the day, it's a goal on the power play for the Marlies, and they grab a 2-1 lead. The Marlies' order of business now is to make sure that they don't get that quick hit back the other way that they gave up the first time. Hit at center is Kenny Ryan, and now Duco gets into it with Petrovic. In the clinch, Mike Duco takes him down, but recognized he was in trouble. So now, Power play from the Rampage. Their power play not quite as good. Gilroy, long shot, but there was a whistle. I thought I heard a whistle too, but obviously that's not the case. McWilliam plays it along. In tight, Gilroy. Trocek throws it out front, scores! Rampage take the lead on a McFarland goal for the first time in the hockey game. Well, McFarland gets his sixth goal of the year. And you just mentioned the youngster in Vincent Trocek, uh, who's having a terrific year. That's his 31st point of the season, which this rookie is leading this team as far as points are, or as far as points are concerned. Cross ice, Corbinian holds or winds up, rebound! Duco had that one pop up over the net. McKaig still with it. Here's Holzer. Winds up. Another hard shot. He scores! And the Marlies tie it up at three apiece. And it's the pass by McKaig. And Holzer pedals towards the middle of the ice. He fires it through the crowd. And Michael Duco parked out in front of the goal. I don't know if he touches this one. But if he doesn't, Holzer gets his fourth of the season. Moving along to T.J. Brennan across the blue line. Brennan leading it! Ross, what a save by Markstrom, and then the loose puck still there. They didn't blow the whistle. And right back out now, two on one, back the other way as Martindale looks for it. Scores! Martindale, shorthanded. Makes it four to three for the Rampage. Off a of body, and nearly back the other way. Abbott. 
across to Brennan. He steps across the blue line into the San Antonio zone. Looks out front for Ross. Fires it. Scores! Ross had that one get across the line. Pass Markstrom to tie it up with one second left to go in the penalty. Goes on with a little chip pass across. Brennan picks it up and comes in. And then down the heart of the slot is Brad Ross. He shoots it. It goes in behind the goaltender. Greg McKaig there on top of it to make sure that it's in over the goal line. But some good work coming down the heart of the slot area. You beat the goaltender short side just as it was on the other side on the shorthanded goal against Sparks. But he didn't quite get the angle he wanted on it. Yeah, he was off on a bad angle. I think he tried to bank it off the goaltender as he's delaying on the ice. Gilroy out front, tries another one. And Sparks comes up with three saves to keep this one at four apiece. Here's Spencer Abbott, the first shooter in this shootout. Spencer Abbott scores in slow motion. Here's Anthony Luciani. Comes up through center to the backhand, comes back to the forehand, and then missed it. None for San Antonio. Carrick steps out, stick side wide. Tries to bring it back on the backhand, and then right on the doorstep, poke check. John McFarlane scores. Wow. Here's Jerry D'Amigo. He's got two in this game. Picks it up, comes stick side wide. Look, scores! D'Amigo hammers one pass, Markstrom. Well, Jerry D's got it going as he's got some confidence in his game. He comes in, slows it down, and then a little toe drag snapshot off the goal post and in. So they need a goal to San Antonio to keep this thing going. Martindale, center wide! And the Marlies pick up the win in the shootout on Jerry D'Amigo's goal. Garrett Sparks doing the job in overtime. He picks up a win, and the Marlies come away with two points on home ice.